Unsettled and seemingly shocked, the leader of Ukraine's radical party Oleg Lashko walks out of parliament. Footage of his deputy Ihor Mosychuk offering his help in exchange for money has been shown during a parliamentary session. After composing himself, Lashko said he was outraged by the government's, quote, selective approach to fighting corruption. Given that Serhiy Kluyev, a senior official and former president of Viktor Yanukovych's party of regions, managed to flee the country earlier this year and evade arrest. Many MPs felt authorities did not act swiftly enough to arrest him. One of the pillars of the Yanukovych regime, Kluyev, was given an opportunity to speak and then given a chance to escape. And Mosichuk was arrested outrageously. We are not fighting for Mosichuk if he is guilty. Let him go to prison. Some 262 MPs voted in favor of Mosichuk's arrest. Mosichuk vigorously denies the charges and has threatened to go on hunger strike. Over the past few months, the 43-year-old had been embroiled in several fights. Following the public humiliation of Mosichuk, the radical party, which recently left the pro-government coalition, lost another member. After what I saw yesterday and after what was said to me about political prostitution and political corruption, because of this I don't want to be part of this political force and I'm sorry that I lost a year of my life because of them. The arrest of Mosichuk also led some MPs to question why the general prosecutor did not put as much effort to solving more pressing cases, including accusations against the regime of former President Viktor Yanukovych and investigations into the death of protesters during the pro-EU Maidan protests last year. We saw yesterday the riveting work by the general prosecutor. I think that the Franco theater will be interested in this artist. Where is the work of the prosecutor general against Yanukovych's inner circle? Where is his work into the corruption going on in the higher echelons of power? Where is his work on the Maidan cases? The public display by MPs of clamping down on corruption comes months before Ukrainians head to the polls for local elections. Public opinion surveys by the respected Democratic Initiative found almost 50 percent of Ukrainians believe no reforms have taken place since last year's pro-EU uprising.